A service warfare officer is 100% leadership role. That is your main job is to lead sailors. So service warfare officer, you're essentially a jack of all trades. You're expected to know everything about everything. Engineering, combat systems, navigation, driving the ship. 1,800 yards to turn, next course 310. We need to be talented at keeping the ship safe and driving it well. At the same time, we need to be tactically sound with how to employ the ship as a weapon. Contact is out of our sector. Leadership, management, organizational skills. It's something that you can't teach. No other 22 to 26 year olds on this planet are doing what we're doing. I've been lucky to have quite a few different jobs as a SWO. My first job, I was the electrical officer. Then I transferred to USS Independence, where I worked as a weapons officer and navigator. And then for shore duty, I taught ROTC at the University of Virginia. And for my last job, I was the chief engineer on the guided missile destroyer out of Norfolk. As a division officer, which that's where all new surface warfare officers start, you're working hand-in-hand -hand with your enlisted sailors. It starts with listening and understanding sailors and understanding the mission and the goals and communicating that mission and goals to those sailors. We set a baseline that we expect everyone to be competent, okay, and then we expect everyone to know their jobs, and then I set the same baseline for myself. I mean, really, it's all about doing the job and doing it well. Everything you can think of on a ship, as a SWO, you need to be able to speak to it, to know about it command a ship eventually. This is the pipeline to become a captain.